Hello, my name is Yonis Dizogl. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a checkpoint within your video game. So what we need to do is right click, select insert a new object, scroll down, select sprite. Let's name this SPR CP for checkpoint. Click insert. Click here and let's create a red circle. Let's crop this and let's rename this to red. Click away. Let's set the speed to zero. This is very important. And let's duplicate the circle. We're going to rename the new circle to green. We're going to make sure with a green circle, with a green uh, circle selected, we set the speed to zero if it's not already. And we're just going to change the color to green. Okay, so we have our red circle and we have our green circle. All right, so let's exit this. By default is red. Just going to place it here. I'm going to hold the control key down my keyboard and place this red box there. So you have to basically jump to select the checkpoint. Okay, next thing we need to do is go to the event seat. So on the event seat, if you follow my previous video tutorial, we need to make some modifications. So on the function my lives, we no longer need the destroy the player and we no longer need the restart layout. We can leave the lives though. Okay. The next thing we need to do here now is add a new uh, event. And the new event is when the player collides with another object, on collision with another object. Now this object is going to be our SPR checkpoint. Okay, done. So when the player collides with our SPR, uh, with our checkpoint, we want something to happen. We also need uh, another condition here. I'm just going to put another condition. Uh, I'm going to select the SPR checkpoint. And we are going to select is plane and then click next and then we're going to set this to red. Done. Okay. Then the action that we're going to add here is going to be the SPR uh, checkpoint. Let's click next and then we're going to set uh, animation. And then we're going to set it to green. Click done. OK. Now we need to right click and add two more global variables. So the first global variable is going to be called checkpoint uh, X. And the, the initial value will be zero. And another variable, global variable, we're going to call it CP checkpoint Y. Oops. And click OK. Now we can go to the add another action here, set the action, system action, click next. We're going to set the value, click next. Now we're going to change the CP value here to SPR, my player, dot X. OK, click done. And we're going to right click here. We're going to copy this and right click and paste. And we're just going to change. Let's double click here. I'm just lazy. That's all. And we're going to change that to checkpoint Y and SPR Y. OK, done. All right. Let me repeat this because it's probably went a bit too fast for you. Let's delete that. Let me do it from scratch. So I'm going to add another action here, a system action. Click next. I'm going to set a value. Click next. This value this time is going to be the Y, the checkpoint Y value. And uh, instead of zero, we're going to say SPR. So I'm pointing to my player, SPR my player. Double click on my play, SPR my player dot Y. 
So that's the Y value. Done. All right. So that's I've done now. I've done this now. The next thing we need to do is basically go here. So when the player collides with the enemy, as well as the function, which basically it's going to add one life, one point to the lives, we want some of the things to happen. What we want to happen, we're going to add another action. And this action will set the player. So we're going to select the player. And then we're going to select set the position. So we're going to set set, set position. And instead of X, we're going to say CPX. So we point it basically to our variables. And then CPY, checkpoint Y. Okay. Now, we don't want this to happen every time we collide with the um, enemy. So we need to put some additional conditions here. So we're going to right click, select add another condition. It's going to be a system condition and click next. And what we want to do here, we want to compare the variables. So we're going to select compare variables and we're going to say the checkpoint X, it is not equal to zero. So as long as the X con checkpoint X is not equals to zero, then you, we can execute this. And we're going to basically do another again the same for the Y position. So we're going to add another right click, add another condition. We're going to select uh, system, click next, compare variables, next. And this time we are going to select the checkpoint Y and it is not equals to zero. Click done. So as long as the player collides with the enemy, and as long as the X and the Y value is not equals to zero, then we want to add one value to the lives, and we want to set the position to the whatever position we have actually specified here. Okay. Then what we need to do, we need to click here on the little green arrow, and we're going to right click and select copy. So we want to copy the full action here. And we're going to right click here and we're going to select paste. So what we want now, we need to make some modifications here on the second time. So what we need to do here on the CX, CPX, so checkpoint X, we're going to right click and we're going to select invert. So basically, as if it is zero, basically we say, so invert. And what we want is we don't want this because these values are zero. So we want to delete this. And we want to put an action, and this action will be restart layout. Click next. Okay. So if the value, the CPX and the CPY value, the variables, are not equals to zero, then this will happen. However, if that these variables are equals to zero, this is what will happen. When the player collides with the checkpoint, we want the checkpoint by default to be red. And when it collides with the checkpoint, we want the checkpoint to turn green and store the Y and the X, the X and the Y value into the actual variables. So let's press play. So far, so good. I've got my score. I've got everything. My checkpoint, my checkpoints are red. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to, I can collect a coin. Now, if I select this checkpoint, this checkpoint becomes green. And if I select the second checkpoint, this checkpoint becomes green. And if I collide with the enemy, I'll just collide with the enemy twice. So I've got one life left. And if I select this checkpoint, now because I've lost the three lives, let me try again. So I'm going to select the checkpoint. I'm going to select this checkpoint. Now, if I collide with enemy, okay, I've lost one life. So if I jump here. Now, if I collide with this enemy, so as you can see, the other two enemies are behind. And then I can actually finish my video game. Okay.
So this is how you create checkpoints by using Construct3. I hope you've learned something new today. I hope you will be able to use these new skills onto your video game. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.